Hello, I'm Dan McCammon, and I have a small X-ray astronomy group in the physics department. Right now, this consists of me, two grad students, a scientist, and a half dozen undergrads. We're interested in studying X-rays emitted by diffuse hot gas in the universe. About half the normal matter in the universe has never been located, probably because it's in the form of diffuse gas at temperatures of a million degrees and above, where it only shows up in the X-rays. One of the requirements for studying this gas is to be able to resolve individual atomic lines, and current detectors aren't really good enough for this, as shown by the magenta line. We've been developing a new kind of X-ray detector that can get a hundred times better energy resolution. Here are some of our early detectors and newer ones that are much prettier, but it will take a big expensive satellite using these detectors to find those missing baryons. In the meantime, we can use our detectors on short rocket flights to study the much brighter X-ray emission from million degree gas in the interstellar medium of our galaxy. These new detectors only work when you cool them to a 20th of a degree above absolute zero, so we've built a refrigerator that will get this cold, and stay there through a sounding rocket launch. These rockets go straight up 300 kilometers and are above most of the atmosphere so we can observe extraterrestrial X-rays for about five minutes. Then the instrument is recovered by parachute so we can make improvements and use it again. Now let's go in the lab so you can see what we do every day. Hi, my name is Ambarish and I'm a graduate student working in this group. So we work on uh, instrumentation for X-ray astronomy. And this here is a rocket drive stack called XQC. So we normally launch XQC up in a sounding rocket and look at different targets of astronomical interest. So we plan to head down to Australia and look at the galactic central with XQC in either 2022 or 23. So this here is one of the projects and here's Avirup to tell you about the other projects we work on in our lab. Hi, my name is Avirup. I'm also a grad student in this group. Uh, while I work on the rocket ADR, we as grad students are also involved in helping the development of the next generation of superconducting detectors, which I'll let Felix say more about. Here's yeah, here's an example of one of those wafers of superconducting detectors with even higher energy resolution. Uh, these were made over at the clean room here at UW. And over here is the research grass that we use to test them. So uh, various students have contributed to this project. For example, the suspension here to hang the chaos that and the vibration isolated was made by a student. And uh, the coils here set up Helmholtz for us, used for cancer Earth's magnetic field that was also built by students. In addition, uh, many of them have helped us with our software that is used to run the cryostat and analyze the data. 